We're running out of gas for the fridge. They won't fill our propane. No service today. Do you guys sell propane? Nobody. Oh. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. So life on the road can be quite complicated sometimes. We've come down to a, a petrol station here on the on Vancouver Island, uh, Huskies, and we're trying to fill up with propane. And uh, apparently you need some kind of safety certificate or you should have a sticker on your van. I'm not sure they've seen an English vehicle before, but we're running out of gas for the fridge. So fingers crossed, we'll see whether we can get it filled up. There is a gas and go just up on Rutledge. So if you keep going this way, okay. Yes. Well, the joys of traveling. So it seems like we can't, they won't fill our propane. Um, I don't know, she's told us somewhere else to go, but that is a propane tank and apparently it's a safety inspection thing. Okay, so we're gonna try another one. We're gonna head, she told us another one, gas and go just down the road. So we will attempt to fill it up there. And uh, if not, maybe we'll have to go back Thanks to America. Thank you very Thank much. You. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, we've arrived at Gas and Go. There is propane here. Oh, no service today. What does that mean? God, it's not going well. Let's see what they say. So yeah, they don't have uh, they don't have enough staff on today. No, There's only one poor up. guy on his own. Yeah, he's on his own, he's running around, he's in a really bad way. So um, I actually asked all the people in the shop if they could get a, like give me a recommendation and they all said the same place. Okay, Back which by is the airport. nine Extreme minutes. Rental. So if you go out of there yeah. and then turn left and go back that way, across the lights. Okay, third attempt, extend rentals. Should be, where did we go? I don't know. There we go. Let's see if they got propane. Oh, it's a propane tank. There is a propane tank. Is there anyone here that can get propane? Nobody. What about tomorrow? Uh, not till Monday. Monday or Tuesday. I think they've got a bit of a staffing problem. Have they got a staffing problem? I don't know, but they don't have any qualified people and then they're closed over the weekend, so until Monday. So we need we're to, heading... We need to get certified and we, then we can do it ourselves. There you go. So we need, we're need we going to head back towards Ladysmith and just try um, some more petrol stations and see what we can find. Okay, attempt number four, Esso Garage. Let's see if they've got any propane. What's silly is we're actually going to need to buy diesel as well soon. We will do if we keep driving like this. Just looking for diesel for propane. Far in. Yeah, we're heading the other way, but... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, at, at Husky, the other way, can't do Shemana's it. way or Lady um, Smith? So there's the Oyster Bay Esso. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, we went... Oh, the Esso. No, they, they, they don't. Right they won't Huskies do it. Huskies won't do it. Okay, uh, <laughs> your next pet is Ladysmith. They, they'll have a shell, a 7-Eleven. They'll have, they'll have a few gas bars right along the highway. Okay. okay. Hello, Hiya. do you guys sell propane? They won't do uh, it. Yeah, okay. they, won't, they won't do it. Is there any in Ladysmith, do you know? Okay, okay. don't worry. Thanks, Thanks for your help. That's okay. Okay, SO don't have it. Okay, 7-Eleven doesn't look like it's got propane. Only propane bottles, so that's no good. Okay, that's attempt number five. This is becoming a bit of a ball ache. Okay, so we're going to the co-op. Attempt number six. <laughs> okay, so the guys at the co-op, super helpful. They actually- Paige and June, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, co-op in near Nanaimo. So unfortunately the spot they recommended was 25 minutes each way which is an hour back the direction we just come and in the wrong way. The wrong so there is another one it says it's closed 
now, but we're just going to do a drive-by and then maybe in the morning um, they'll be open. At least one night where it looks like they've got propane. But, but we can hold it as a plan B. This is thing. attempt number seven. <laughs> Okay, so this is Viper Fuels. There is propane tanks around, but we're not sure whether they just do the gas cylinders or whether they actually fill up. Marianne can see somebody over there, so she's just asking. And then if we can, we can come back tomorrow, but what a pain in the backside. You wouldn't think that getting propane would be so hard. And I can't believe so many places had no staff to serve it. Yeah. 8 30 tomorrow morning they're normally okay. open at 7 30 but on saturdays it's 8 30 and i was like you enjoy the line good. okay first job of the morning then first tomorrow job. okay it's half eight the next morning we're trying to get propane again final attempt for the local uh, the local garage that we went to yesterday so watch this space it's funny isn't it how things like this can just make your day or <laughs> or ruin we'll your day. <laughs> okay, we're back to Viper Fuels. Ah. Oh, they just said they're not opening till half eight. Oh, it's quarter to nine. Quarter to nine. <laughs> okay, someone's running late today then. Someone's enjoying a lion. Good morning. Am I too close? Look oh, perfect. <laughs> Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Oh, good. So there you go, all filled up. It was $38.62 and uh, perfect. So if you're on Vancouver Island, just near Shamanus, just off the highway, Viper Fuels. Perfect. And it was simple, really easy, super friendly, just no questions, just done. I wish, I wish I'd known oh, that was there yesterday. I know, I was just thinking <laughs> that. Okay, so today, van life on the island. We are parked next to a cell tower, which is just there for a better signal so we can upload our video here. I think it's working. We just put in the cupboard up. Oh! I think it's working. I don't want to let go yet. I think it's going. <laughs> it's, Hang on. We've re-screwed it and everything, so it's. Uh, I think it's worked. I actually think it's worked. I lined it up there. Why are you I so think, surprised? Well, because you know what I'm like with DIY. I've actually in the past. <laughs> I think it was in our first house when we got married. I put a nail in the wall and hammered it. And um, when we had the house. We did an extension. The builder came in, the electrician said, I can't believe you haven't burnt this house down. And I'd actually put a nail straight through the middle of a twin wire electric. And that, that nail apparently was live. And he said, how you haven't burnt this house down? So I don't really trust myself doing this kind of stuff. So over the past few days, we've been hanging out here on Vancouver Island, outside Marianne Aunt Julia's house. And today we've been invited down into Shamanus to a hot rod meetup. I know, we've met a lovely girl called Jodie, who's one of my Auntie Julia's friends, and she's adopted us and she organises a hot rod meetup. And she said, I think Trudy should come because she's like a celebrity fan. <laughs> <laughs> so we're off trudy's gonna be cool and she's gonna be a hot rod and we're gonna go and see some cool cars hey jody <laughs> this is jody the best smile and the sweetest girl i think i've ever met oh you guys that's a nice car marianne but it has no bed or kitchen so are we really how are, <laughs> how many cars are we expecting I don't know. We could have extra tonight. You do these meetups regularly? We choose oh, At Shemaina's Indoor Market. Yeah. At the market. There you go. At the public market. So we'll go through thir through September. Yeah, ah, amazing. amazing. Weather really permitting good. though. Yeah. Oh, well, we got a nice sunny night tonight. Trudy is not that clean. So I'm hoping that someone <laughs> takes a picture on her and goes, look, you're clearly not looking after her. Let me just go and give her a clean for you. Well, yeah, what we need is one of these guys to say, we can do some body work and make her look like this would be great. <laughs> and we got Aunt Julia. Hi, Aunt Julia. 
Look at the back of my scooter. Look at the back of your scooter. Tread the Globe Manager. There you go. <laughs> She's you can see where Marianne gets it from, right? I can. I can. <laughs> where Marianne gets it from, it's your fault. Oh, it's all my fault. It's always my fault. I've just been told that in the market. <laughs> Okay, they're fighting over the table. Fighting over the table! You're our guest! You're our guest! Okay, I'll hold one leg, you hold the rest. We're almost. We're almost. <laughs> and they're out of control. So Marianne's doing an impromptu speech to the Hot Rod Club here in Shimanus. So yeah, in 2020 we decided to set off to try and drive around the world. This gentleman has a very cool truck. So it's called Mistress 2. Actually, you got a nice VW in the back there. It's a cooler. It's a cooler? Oh my goodness, I'm loving that. So if your truck is called Mistress 2, is the wife Mistress 1? No. <laughs> the bicycle's Mistress 1. The bicycle. Oh, this one. There's, there's over 50,000 kilometers on that bike. Really? Yeah. And where, where's the furthest place you went? From Quenelle to Vancouver through Revelstoke was which is a it was uh, 1500 kilometers oh my One goodness trip. and I'm loving this truck built in 54 it's very cool I'm jealous about how shiny it is <laughs> <laughs> is that a lot is that a lot of this you got any tips for our van on keeping it that clean <laughs> it's clear coated that's why it's shiny oh and don't drive the Dempster Highway. <laughs> no, 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 don't drive the Dempster I Highway. Go that far with it. <laughs> Jody, where's your hot rod? Here's my hot rod. <laughs> you got a golf truck. <laughs> it's very cool. It is, and this is my pit car. Your pit car. It's very cool. It's fiery red. It's more shiny than Trudy. <laughs> oh, just a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> What is, what is coming? Okay, look at this thing here. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> All right. That is a very cool vehicle, sir. <laughs> How amazing is that? I love it. I don't know, after a decade and a half of trundling across the country with it, doesn't doesn't hold amazement to me. <laughs> no, but it, don't see that every day. it's, it's unique. <laughs> it's unique. It's unique for us. There you go. Amazing. So you may recognize this car park and these people. Hey <laughs> this you? is Nake and Kim. We met them uh, in Whitehorse in a car park. Well, Randomly, we managed to park next to each other. <laughs> uh, they've also got a YouTube channel. They are heading down to Argentina. But you may recognize this car park because we've just finished tubing, which we did a few weeks ago. It was amazing. It we was loved it. Amazing. Thank you guys for taking us. The river was so nice and the, the forest is just beautiful out here. It is amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. There you go. Awesome. And uh, we, we're about to hit the road. We're going to do a little road trip um, around Vancouver Island. We're heading up to the river. So, uh, Campbell River. Campbell River. We're going to go find some salmon and bears. Come in, Nick and Kim. You got to push the button on the left. As, you, as you're talking. <laughs> Perfect. Are you guys ready to hit the road? I'm ready. Okay, so we found a spot on park for night. It's a little bit late now, it's nearly nine o'clock. Turn left here, and then it's 
almost immediately on the right. Oh, there's a ca one camper there. Where are we going to get in there? It's full of fans. There's quite a few other vans and stuff here, so we're just going to see if there's any parking spots. All right, we're going to have to squeeze in at the end. Yeah, that's all right. How does that feel? Okay. Okay, chef, we're coming in. All right. <laughs> Something smells good. Welcome to the... Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to, the jungle. <laughs> Welcome to where the magic happens. <laughs> chef, chef Nate tonight. You got some good steak here. Oh wow. That's hanging. Yeah. Hey, we should come around for dinner more often. <laughs> hey, you should. Sure? I mean, <laughs> we got like cheese appetizers. Fancy. There you go. We got some nice drinks. Fancy. I love We're just it. hanging out. It's smoked cheese. Smoked cheese. Not normal and it's cheese. delicious. It's really good. Yeah. All right, here you go, oh, sir. Oh my goodness. My dear sir. Oh, what have we yeah, got? We nice. got steak. He made a homemade sauce. Aubergines and it's, salad. I think it's pepper sauce, right? Pepper sauce. Yeah, I feel pepperish. And I feel very spoiled, some, guys. Some tahini <laughs> dressing for a salad. Oh my goodness. We we um, need to hang out more often. And if you don't like tahini, you don't eat like soy, this every night. But soy ginger dressing. <laughs> Are you maybe, sure? Maybe if you come by more often, we do. Okay, it's a date tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Thank you for having us.